Hello guys, what's up? This is Sir EJ and welcome again to another math tutorial. In today's topic, we will be discussing the distinguishable permutations of n objects taken r at a time. Let's have the following objectives in today's topic. At the end of the lesson, the students should be able to Letter A. Find the number of distinguishable permutation of N objects where P objects are alike, Q objects are alike, and R objects are alike. And Letter B. Value the concepts of distinguishable permutations in solving real-life situation. In our previous lesson, we have discussed permutations of n objects taken r at a time. The objects we arrange are all distinct, meaning to say they are different with each other. In this lesson, we will learn how to find the permutations of a problem consisting of identical objects. It is important in solving permutations to fully understand what is asked. Like for example, is duplication of the objects allowed? Or is duplication of the objects are not allowed? Finding the permutations of an object differ from one another like the two words below. So the first word will be the scholar. The letters are distinct, meaning to say they consist of different letters. And then, the second word will be statistics. The letters are duplicated or replicated. Letter S is repeated three times. And then letter T is also repeated three times. Also, letter I is repeated two times. So the letters are duplicated or replicated. On our first word, the word scholar, this is an example of permutations of objects taken R at a time. And then, on our second word, the word statistics, this is an example of distinguishable permutations. Let's have the formula for distinguishable permutations. The number of distinguishable permutations P of n objects where p objects are alike, q objects are alike, and r objects are alike, and so on is p is equal to n factorial over p factorial times q factorial times r factorial, wherein n is equal to the number of objects p, q, and R are the objects with corresponding repetition. Let's have our first example. In how many ways can you arrange the word mathematics if the duplications of the arrangement are not allowed? So in this example, this is an example of distinguishable permutation. So our first step is to identify the given. So the number of objects is equal to 11. We will just count all the letters. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So there are 11 letters or 11 objects. And then after that, we will get the letters that are duplicated. So for letter M, uh, there are two letter M. So M will be equal to 2. And then after that, we have letter A and letter A is repeated two times. So A is equal to 2. And then for letter T, we have 2. So T will be equal to 2. And then after that, we will use the formula. So we have P is equal to N factorial over M factorial times A factorial times T factorial. And then all we need to do is to substitute the corresponding value. We will bring down P equals the value of n is equal to 11 followed by factorial and then all over the value of m will be equal to 2 factorial 
the value of a will be equal also to 2 followed by factorial and then the value of t is also equal to 2 followed by the factorial symbol and then we will simplify bring down p and then 11 factorial meaning to say we will just multiply 11 times 10 up to number 1 or you can just press it on your calculator type 11 followed by the factorial symbol then equal sign all over we have 2 factorial that is 2 times 1 2 factorial again 2 times 1 and then 2 factorial again is also 2 times 1 and then after that we will now simplify 11 factorial is 39,916,800. So we have 2 times 1 is 2. Then 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Times 1 is 4. Times 2 is 8. Times 1 is 8. So this is equal to 8. And then after that, we will divide 39,916,800 divided by 8 and that is equal to 4,989,600. Therefore, there are 4,989,600 possible ways we can arrange the letters from the word mathematics if duplications of the arrangement are not allowed. Let's have our second example. In how many ways can you arrange payapa if duplications of the arrangement are not allowed? Let's identify the following given. The value of n or the number of letters is equal to 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There are 6 letters or 6 objects. And then after that, for letter p, it is repeated two times. So we have P is equal to 2. And then we have letter A, which is repeated three times. So A will be equal to 3. And then letter Y is repeated only once. So we will not write it anymore because it is just equal to 1. And once we multiply it with the answer, it will also be equal to that number. So no need to write that. And then after that, Let's have the formula. So we have P is equal to N factorial all over, we have P factorial times A factorial. All we need to do is to substitute the corresponding value. We will bring down P equals the value of N is equal to 6. Then write the factorial symbol all over the value of P which is equal to 2 followed by factorial and then the value of a is equal to 3 followed by the factorial symbol and then we will simplify so p will be equal to 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 all over we have 2 factorial that is 2 times 1 times 3 factorial that is 3 times 2 times 1 and then after that we will multiply 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 or we will just press 6 on our calculator followed by the factorial symbol and then we will press equal sign and that is equal to 720 and then multiply this one 2 times 1 times 3 times 2 times 1 is equal to 12 and then dividing these numbers 720 divided by 12 will be equal to 60 Therefore, there are 60 possible ways we can arrange payapa if duplications of the arrangement are not allowed. Let's have our next example. In how many ways can you arrange by any hand if duplications of the arrangement are not allowed? So this is also an example of distinguishable permutation. So let's identify first the given. The value of n is equal to 9, the number of letters of objects. So we will count the letters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So there are 9 objects. And then letter A is repeated 3 times. So A will be equal to 3. And then letter N is repeated 2 times. So N will be equal to 2. And then let's have our formula. So our formula will be P is equal to N factorial over A factorial times N factorial. And then all we need to do is to substitute the corresponding value. 
the value of n is equal to 9 followed by the factorial symbol all over the value of e is equal to 3 then followed by factorial the value of n is equal to 2 then factorial then we will simplify bring down p equals 9 factorial is 9 times 8 up to 1 all over 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1 then 2 factorial is 2 times 1 and then we will just multiply these numbers or just press 9 on your calculator followed by the factorial symbol then equal sign that is 362,880 all over 3 times 2 times 1 is 6 2 times 1 is 2 so 2 times 6 will be equal to 12 and then dividing these numbers 362,880 divided by 12 is equal to 30,340. Therefore, there are 30,340 possible ways we can arrange by any hand if duplications of the arrangement are not allowed. Let's have our last example. In how many ways can you arrange karanasan if duplications of the arrangement are not allowed? Let us identify first the given. The value of n is equal to 9. There are 9 letters or objects. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then after that, the value of a is equal to 4. There are 4 letters. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. And then the value of n is equal to 2. There are 2 letters. And then after that, let's have the formula p is equal to n factorial over a factorial times n factorial. So this will be our working formula. And then after that, all we need to do is to substitute the corresponding value. So we have the value of n is equal to 9 all over the value of a is equal to 4. And then the value of n is equal to 2. And then we will just simplify. So we have p is equal to 9 factorial is just 9 times 8 times 7 up to 1 all over 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 and then 2 factorial is just 2 times 1 and then after that let's compute for the value of 9 factorial you will just uh, multiply these numbers or you can press 9 on your calculator followed by the factorial symbol and that is equal to 362,880 all over 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 is equal to 24 2 times 1 is equal to 2 so 2 times 24 is equal to 48 and then dividing these numbers 362,880 divided by 48 is equal to 7,560 therefore there are 7,560 possible ways we can arrange Karanasan if duplications of the arrangement are not allowed.